Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is for March 16th until 23rd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. Family meeting. You know, uh, Scorpio, especially if you're the youngest, looks like your siblings will be taking advantage of you since that you're the one who uh, is, let's see, a little bit free, okay, or a little bit uh, doing well financially. But there are some family matters that this too will be obliging you. One water sign, one fire sign. Especially the fire sign has always been taking advantage of you. Um... Okay. <sighs> You're wishing for things to change a little bit. Okay. You're wishing for things to change a little bit. And then the water sign understands your situation. However, this fire sign is not really willing to give way. Okay. And you're starting to get annoyed. You're, you're starting to think like, why is it that it's always me? You know, why is it that I always have to, um, I always have to do this. I always have to do that. And even though you are the one who is much more financially lucky, okay, in your family, or you always, you're, uh, you're the one who's always uh, gearing up ahead of the competition. Well, there's no competition really, but they feel like, you are much more luckier than them. And at this point, there is something that you really want to save, which is either it's a brand new car or getting a new house altogether. And you've been planning this or you've been thinking about this for the past few months or years. And now that you're financially ready, all of a sudden there's like a family emergency that this... You know, this, this sibling of yours want you to cover up all the cost, which is at this point, no, you need to put your foot down and it should be divided into equal parts. Okay, no matter how many siblings you have right now, it is much better for you to know that you are not agreeing on whatever they are planning uh, against you. Uh, partly, I feel like there's like an insecurity and the uh, jealousy issues as well. Anyway, somebody from the past will be re-emerging again. And this is somebody who uh, walked away from you or you walked away from. This person once brought you happiness and um, even though things did not really end up in a good way before. Now you're starting to think if you should get in touch with this person again. It's an earth sign. Okay. It's an earth sign or water sign. And you want to know if uh, the coast is clear or if it's just going to be like another, you know, uh, bridge to burn or something like that. Uh, but you still have a lot of feelings for this person altogether. Now, the problem here is for those Scorpios who's already with somebody else or who's already entangled in a rocky relationship, this is where you will start thinking that maybe, you know, that there is a reason why your relationship right now are rocky and not really doing well the way how, you're, how it's supposed to be, how you expected it to be. Do not think of, ge of uh, getting involved with anybody while you are still with someone. Regardless if this is, you know, somebody that you feel and think that this is your soulmate okay try to resolve your current situation first before getting involved with someone else or before inviting another complication in your life okay now at this point i feel like you also need to give considerations to the effort uh, or to the contribution of your partner into your relationship that the reason why there has been a lot of uh, imbalances is because the two of you are too busy or because the two of you are just too ambitious okay both of you are doing well in the uh, you know in your finances but it seems like there's only something that's missing well it could be a child as well or it could be more about your time together you know uh, you need to spend more time with each other. <clears throat> now, 
things will start swirling especially that this you know earth sign will be getting in touch with you soon and i feel like oh you know you're gonna be feeling a little bit uh, giggly and uh, acting like a teenager since that it's been a while since you last talked to this person and now that there is a brand new beginning things will suddenly shift and change and be you know be prepared for the consequences of this because especially if you've been in a long-term relationship whatever you do your partner will also be doing and that is the balance of karma okay between the two of you and Although, you know, the other person that will be seducing you lives far from you. But still, this person will always be lurking in your mind. And there will be some changes into your system to the extent that, uh, you know, you might change your mind about opting for a new house or moving to a new place. It will be affecting your decision. Now, this person, this earth sign that will be getting back in touch with you is your karmic soulmate. Okay, if this is not somebody that you're supposed to, to end up with. And that's why in the past, there has been a lot of difficulties and strife and, you know, struggles, especially when the two of you have been, sur you know, trying to survive on, um, you know, um, like on your, uh, like a small amount of salary in the past. Or there has been some uh, struggles financially when the two of you are still together. But now... Now that you're doing well, now that you're slowly, you know, taking off with your career and things are doing well or with your business, do not invite any other outside complications, okay? Because your relationship right now is already complicated the way it is right now. And I feel like you only need to ask for some advices from your friends or from other people, healthy people, okay? who can give you a sound advice about your situation and whatever happens, no matter how difficult the situation is, cheating is not an option, okay? There's, there will always be a solution. There's always room to grow and there's always, there will always be some issues in a relationship and the phases that you will have to go through. There is no perfect relationship. And if, you know, this is something that you'll just make it as an excuse that, oh, okay, we're having some rocking relationship and we're going through this. My partner isn't having sex with me. My partner isn't touching me, something like that. Then, you know, do something to create a solution to your problem instead of looking into, you think it's a greener pasture, but unfortunately it might be a manure, okay? So, protect yourself and protect your, um, you know, your sacred circle because you will be rewarded if you will be able to shield yourself, your relationship from this further temptation or from this ongoing temptation that you're slowly letting in. Okay, it's, it is a devil that you're slowly getting into your life or into your house. It's not the person. And... If you can just stay as friends, then it's okay, you know. Um, as long as you can make it as a platonic friends, but nothing more, nothing less, okay. And one more thing that there is, um, uh, there will be some good news or there will be some good changes that will be coming your way in a matter of um, four days or four weeks or in the month of April. Um, more likely in the time of Aries about an offer that will come from the higher management about the position or higher position that you've been dreaming of or that you are aiming for and this will result in like the uh, much more approval of your family but with the <coughs> much jealousy from your siblings and with that drama and uh, toxicity it's time for you to move away cut it off and if you have to you know set them aside for a little while then do so okay Learn how to balance the right from wrong, all right? And you're already old, okay? So you need to open up your eyes and it's time for you to realize who are the people that you should keep into your life and uh, to discard, all right? Now, anyway, um, that's it for you for this week is Scorpio. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.